Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you and today we are checking out Lost Eidolons. Now we did see this before, we've talked about this before, but we only watched one trailer for it before. And I do believe I actually have that trailer in here again, so we're probably gonna be re-watching about like a minute and a half of footage that we've seen before. But this game is actually coming out in just like a few days. And when we watched it before, we were initially like, ah, uh, maybe, and then we got to see what the game was and we were like, no, yes. The easiest way to describe this game is if you wanted to play Fire Emblem, but you took out all of the anime. And that's what Lost Eidolons is, is Fire Emblem without the anime. And if that sounds like something that's appealing to you, then strap in. So we're going to go back to when this game was actually first revealed back in March of 2021 and take a deeper look at it as it is it comes out what when like October 13th. So literally in just a few days. So. Let's go ahead and just see where this game came from and where it is today. Did I hit play? I did. Okay. You know, the character models in this actually look really good. Even in this initial reveal way back when, I hadn't seen this when we checked it out before, um, but the actual models look pretty solid. It looked like they had almost zero lip syncing because the one per time we saw somebody just now talking, they went. <laughs> but lip syncing can be very challenging. Lots of characters. I mean, Fire Emblem always had lots of characters. And I'm going to continue to make that comparison to Fire Emblem, but... It's just a nice thing to see. Even that would be better than FromSoft. That's fair. FromSoft game lip sync just doesn't exist. You're lucky if the mouths move in FromSoft games. Coming 2022. They're sticking to that. Congratulations. Okay, so this is a closed beta reveal. That was from March of 2021. We're going to jump forward six months into September. It's like a chest with all the squares. Have you played a, uh, a strategy tactical RPG, Lameville? Think like Disgaea, Final Fantasy Tactics, Fire Emblem, uh... XCOM is in a way it normally does like it, XCOM has squares actually yeah so XCOM's another one oh man you know what this game would kick ass on games like this I got my Steam Deck upstairs mm, this would be a great Steam Deck game Are there like quick time events in the combat? This game is like, what if Final Fantasy didn't get rid of its chest hair after four? <laughs> Fair. Can we get a remake of Final Fantasy Tactics? Nah, just go play Lost Eidolon. You'll probably be happier with it. I say that, and the game's not even out yet. I don't actually know, but. What was the game that Square Enix just released that was a, uh, a, a real-time tactical RPG that just was very poorly received? It came out in the last, like, week, and man, did it not go over well. We reacted to it. Yeah, that's it. There you go, real. <laughs> the the, the Diofield shits. I think it was called the Diofield Chronicles, but there's also like four games from Square Enix that have Chronicles in their name that have come out, that have either come out in the last year or coming out in the next year. This looks 
looks really good like visually this looks real like i like the art direction is solid Feels very mobile game to you for some reason. I'd be curious what mobile games you're looking at. <laughs> I mean, there are some very nice looking mobile games, but and turn-based tactical RPGs, they generally like they can they can function well on mobile. So this is the second closed beta reveal back from March, and we're seeing growth in each of these trailers, right? We didn't start this war. Probably because it's a tactics game. Those don't get budgets. It's because they're easy to make, right? I never meant for any of this to happen. There's some animation All work in here, though. That's nice. Bloodshed. All this chaos. The model of the characters Mother was very Black Desert broken. Online. Wasn't Black Desert like Online? Like, it, is that on mobile? And if so, was it originally on mobile or did it get ported to mobile? I feel like that game is old as hell. Then they called us criminals. So we became rebels. And now? A revolution. We didn't start this war. Ah, Langrisser. Yeah, that's correct, Laneville. The the excited another. remake of the the, the cult classic Langrisser 1 and 2 that just went became mobile games. I don't believe those ended up doing super well. I'll do whatever it takes to bring my people home. But yes, same idea, Lame, uh, Lameville. And no king, no friend, nothing will stop me. And you can see how the growth has led to there being like more soldiers on the battlefields around them, which is what made me initially think of Fire Emblem, right? Because some, most of the Fire Emblem games, there was times that it was just one unit, but as they started to progress, you'd have an like a, a battalion is what they'd called that'd be a, stuck up against you, uh, like with your units that would be charging your enemies at the same time. This is the release date trailer. This is from September 2022. You saved my life today. I hope I can repay you someday. Ooh, Ooh that lip sync was bad. That's okay. And virtue is rewarded with suffering. I get the sense he's not interested in talking. We've suffered enough losses already. It's sad though, cause like the voice acting isn't bad. But boy, the lips do not do anything. Sooner or later, it's gonna come down to you against him. The faces actually just don't do anything. There was no emotion in that face. To hell and back, brother. Like the the eyes don't move at all. Please, Cap. All of these people have Promise severe Botox injections. War. There's no escaping it. You and I are fated for this. To hell with fate! You're not taking one more thing from me. I'll tear your world apart. All right. Anyway, the nitpicking aside of the facial animations and stuff, right? The game still looks really good. The game still looks really, really good. It looks good, but for some reason doesn't interest me. Uh, and that's fine. Not every game is for everybody. Uh, that's Lost Eidolons. Like I said before, at the beginning of the video, this game is literally, if you want a new Fire Emblem game and you, you've you looked at Fire Emblem Three Houses, if you want to play a game like Fire Emblem and you looked at Fire Emblem Three Houses or the upcoming Fire Emblem Engage and you're like, damn, that is some anime shit, bro. 
holy crap if that's if, if you're put off by the anime give this a shot i'm sh this looks really good it looks like it's going to be a, a very solid tactical rpg and i bet it's going to be worth your time if the general gameplay style is what you want in terms of like the tactical rpg design this looks like a really really strong entry if you want to attack this game and hate anime shit, this is it. Or if you just, even if you don't hate anime shit, but like, I'll admit, like, I really love anime and I love anime style games. But if I play too many of them at the same time, they just start to like wear down each other because it's just so much of the same stuff. Even if it's presented in different ways that like you kind of need like a palate cleanser, right? And that's why like I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2, super anime weeby uh, JRPG. I enjoyed the hell out of it. And I got done with it right about the time that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 came out and I was like, I can't. I want to play Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but I just can't. And so I went and played a Warriors game where you just you grab a sword and you just slaughter hundreds of enemies on a battlefield. It's mindless and you're just like, fuck yeah, killing people right if you've ever played a dynasty warriors game you'll know what i'm talking about and then after i did that i was like all right palette cleansed a bit we can go play xenoblade chronicles 3 now and i've and i've been playing it i'm enjoying it a lot uh and so if you wanted something to that is if you don't like anime stuff or you needed something that just kind of set itself apart from that uh if if you if you want to not watch crunchy roll and go check out some game of thrones here you go lost idolons is, is available it's going to be out in just a couple of days so Go uh, check it out if you look interested. Uh, and if you were in, uh, if you were in one of the closed betas, then maybe you can tell us how the game presented to you. Did it play as well as it's looking like? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see a little bit more in depth, down in the description, I will also put a link to this video. This is a 14 minutes of gameplay. We're not going to check it out here uh, because I'm kind of. I, I've seen what I need to see with this game. Sometimes these big gameplay dives are really good for just trying to see the game in a bit more earnest sense where it's not like this like cinematic cut or just really like energized cut that they do for trailers. So, but I don't imagine that there's going to be anything gameplay wise that is mind blowing, right? And I say that specifically because these style of games there's not normally something that is is revolutionary in them. New stories, new characters, maybe a couple of interesting mechanics if they use like zone effects or something like that, but I I don't I can't think of anything that has really just like really rebuilt from the the idea of what a turn-based tactical strategy RPG should be uh, ever. So Lost Eidolons, let me know if you ended up playing it or what your thoughts are at this point in time. Put them down in the comments below. If you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere, two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter. Speaking of Discord, we actually have a channel dedicated to these trailers where you can place links of your own for things that we can check out together live on stream because we do stream four days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do watch one of the other videos on the channel or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy. Thank you.